Gary Hooper left Celtic in August 2013 after scoring 82 goals and 138 appearances for the club. From here, the striker hoped to push on and force his way into the England squad as he made the move to the Premier League. Still aged just 25, it looked like Hooper was destined for the top, but it never really happened. What happened to Gary Hooper? The Englishman didn't come through the academy system of a top club in his youth, but rather made a name for himself in non-league football. Aged just 15, he made his debut for Grey's Athletic. Over the next three years, the young forward netted 29 goals in 94 games for the club, enjoying promotion and two FA trophies. This caught the attention of then Championship side Southend United, who signed him in 2006, though he had rarely started for the club. In his two years under contract, Hooper was loaned out briefly to Leighton Orient before enjoying a successful loan spell at League 2 outfit Hereford United. That's where he scored 11 goals in 19 appearances, helping the side earn promotion to League 1. Age just 20, Hooper had already proven he could consistently score goals at the lower levels and wanted to prove himself on a higher stage. Scunthorpe United were themselves in League One when they signed Gary Hooper in the summer of 2008 for £175,000. He netted on his debut for the club against Leeds in the opening game of the season and went on to have a prolific campaign, netting 30 goals in 56 games across all competitions. Once again, his side were promoted and now an experienced 21-year-old Hooper had the opportunity to prove himself in the championship, stating in the media that he was targeting 15 goals in the upcoming season. Well, Hooper exceeded that target as he scored 19 goals in the championship in the 2009-10 season and several years later, this bell saw him voted by the fans as Scunthorpe's greatest ever player. These performances drew attention from bigger clubs in England, including QPR, who had a bid rejected for the striker. Today, a young English forward regularly netting goals in the championship would be valued somewhere around the 10 to 20 million pound mark, but in the summer of 2010, Celtic were able to prize Hooper north of the border for just £2.4 million. Under manager Neil Lennon, Hooper had an excellent debut season in Scotland as he overcame early injury troubles to score 22 goals in 36 appearances. His form in his first season at Celtic saw him included in the England under-21 squad for matches against Denmark and Iceland in March 2011. However, an injury would prevent him from joining up with the squad. Though Celtic finished the season second behind rivals Rangers, Hooper developed a habit of netting against the Ibrox side, including a double in a 3-0 hammering of Walter Smith's team in February 2011. The Hoops pushed on in the 2011-12 season to win the title, with Hooper improving on his previous season's performance. Hooper finished the campaign with 29 goals in 50 games this time, with the club rejecting offers from the likes of Wolves, Southampton and once again QPR for the striker. Hooper formed a strong partnership with Irish striker Anthony Stokes in these first two seasons, which you can hear more about in my Anthony Stokes video on the channel. Hooper also scored his first European goals in the 11-12 season, as he netted in the Europa League against French side Rennes and Italian outfit Udinese. There was further speculation regarding a transfer in the summer of 2012, but Hooper told the press he wanted to stay and have a crack at the Champions League. And that he did. The Englishman scored in qualifiers against Helsinki and Helsingborg to help secure Celtic a spot in the group stage for the 2012-13 campaign. Hooper went on to net a goal in Celtic's 3-2 win against Spartak Moscow, the Hoops' first ever away win in the Champions League proper, before netting the opening goal against the same side in December, which helped Celtic get a 2-1 win and a place in the last 16 of the competition. An impressive achievement in a group containing Barcelona and Benfica. Hooper again improved on his previous season's total, this time netting 31 goals in 51 appearances, including scoring a brace in the Scottish Cup final against Hibs, as Celtic secured a league and cup double. After a successful three-year spell in Glasgow, most now felt the time was right for Hooper to make the step up to the Premier League. Hooper himself stated that an ambition to force his way into the England setup was motivation for making the move back down south, saying, to play for your country is anyone's dream. Then England manager Roy Hodgson had been monitoring Hooper's progress at Celtic, but it was felt a move to the Premier League was needed for this to happen, and it was a place in the squad for the 2014 World Cup that was Hooper's ambitious target. In the summer of 2013, Celtic rejected some bids for the striker, including one from Hull City, before accepting a £5.5 million offer from Norwich. The Canaries had big hopes upon his arrival, but at this point, things don't go as planned for Hooper. Norwich experienced a dreadful 2013-14 Premier League campaign. 
suffering relegation from the top flight, with manager Chris Hutton being sacked along the way. Hooper finished the season with just 8 goals and 34 appearances, and only 6 in the league. He stayed with the club and enjoyed a more productive season back in the championship the following year, netting 12 goals in 30 games in the second tier of English football, also helping his side to another promotion. But as Norwich returned to the Premier League, Hooper would not feature much further for the club. After appearing just twice in Norwich's 2015-16 Premier League return, Hooper was sold to Sheffield Wednesday in January 2016 for £3 million following a brief loan spell at the club since October. Hooper's time at Wednesday was mixed, and this wasn't really the level he wanted to be playing at at this stage. Just a few years earlier, he'd been a young striker banging in goals and standing out in the championship, destined for bigger and better things. Now, the championship seemed like it was his level. Gary Hooper's story is in many ways one of unfulfilled potential. A young, dynamic goalscorer who excelled early, but when he finally earned his big money move, didn't live up to expectations. Media rumours of a lad lifestyle were at times prevalent, but Hooper wasn't really notorious for this. In truth, he was a talented striker who was capable of playing at a high level, but just not at the very top on a regular basis. Later spells at clubs in the Australian League, in India, and rejoining with former manager Neil Lennon in Cyprus followed, but it will forever be the early part of his career, and those days at Celtic in particular, that Hooper is most remembered for. He never did manage to earn a cap for England, but Hooper achieved a lot throughout his career. He became the first player to score in the top four divisions of the English League, the top division of the Scottish League, and two cup competitions in each country, as well as the UEFA Champions League and UEFA Europa League. This is something only Gary Hooper can say he's accomplished, and though there may be a feeling he could have gone on to have a brighter career, Gary Hooper still had a career he can be proud of.